Hey guys, this is Hafiz. Today we're gonna talk about the fan clutch. As you can see, uh, this is a fan clutch, and uh, all it do is turn on the fan when the truck is hot, and uh, turn it off when the truck is not hot, and uh, it keep your engine cool. So we're gonna see like uh, how to find out if there's a, a fan clutch issue with your truck. So if your truck is heating up and uh, you feel like your fan is not turning on, that means your fan clutch is bad. It could be a different problem. Sometimes it's uh, the, the sensor that turn on the fan and uh, most likely it's the fan clutch. So how can you test the fan clutch uh, if it's bad or good? Please make sure your truck is off when you're performing this test and uh, don't try that when your truck is on. So you have to turn off your key, your ignition key, turn it off and uh, come outside and try to spin this fan with your hand. As you can see, if I push it, it's barely moving. So you will be having a hard time to move this fan. So. That means your fan is uh, is good. If it's, uh, your uh, ignition is off and your fan is not turning, it's good. So I'm gonna show you that uh, what happens if I turn on my ignition key. All right, so I'm just uh, turning my ignition switch. So you have to make sure that you have that uh, air uh, filled up to the tanks. So you must have to have the air in your tanks before you do this test. So as I just uh, turn on the key, you should be able to spin this fan very easily. So that means your fan uh, clutch is good. In this case, your fan clutch is good. It should be free to spin when you turn on uh, the ignition key. So I'm gonna show you what happened if uh, you turn it off in this situation. You will hear some air noise and it will lock the fan so as you can see now you can spin it so that means your fan clutch is good why the fan clutch do this is because there is an airline you can see it's connected to the fan clutch and uh, you can notice that right here it's connecting over there This airline is connected to the fan clutch and uh, from here it go all the way to the sensor. So this is the airline that is connected to your fan clutch. So you can also perform a test like uh, to test your fan clutch if it's working or not by just simply removing, removing this line and uh, you will see as uh, as soon as you remove this line from here just unplug it you will see your fan will turn on right away so as uh, and you will also uh, have an air leak from here so uh, this airline uh, is connected to this sensor which actually control the it's called the heat sensor so when the the truck reach to the certain temperature is gonna kick uh, the fan clutch and cool down the engine so uh, this is how you can check if uh, your fan clutch is bad and also you can uh, see if why your fan clutch is not turning on so if let's suppose now you have a, a good fan clutch your fan clutch is working fine you have no problem with the fan clutch and you did the test is 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 good but you still not able to turn on your fan like when it, it reached to the temperature you uh, your truck start heating up so how can you save the uh, road service by not just calling anybody and get to the the repair shop is by just removing this uh, sensor switch as soon as you remove this your fan will run in a continuous mode so it's okay if it's keep running to the continuous mode because your truck will not be heating up until you're not in a very cold weather which uh, 
your engine will be very cool at that time and you uh, you you won't have a heat inside the truck but uh in uh, hot weather is good if your fan is on and you can reach to wherever you have to but uh, you will be burning some extra fuel because your fan is on all the time so you can disconnect either this uh, switch and uh, your fan will be on all the time or you can uh, disconnect uh, this airline as as soon as you disconnect this airline you can bend this and your fan will stay on all the time and you can reach to the nearest uh, repair shop so this is uh, all about the fan clutch that how can you check it and if your fan clutch broke down how can you make it to the shop and also <clears throat> there's two ways the fan clutch can break one is that your fan clutch is not turning on and the second is your fan clutch stays on so if you able to spin this fan your fan will stay on all the time and you can test it by turning off your ignition key and if you able to spin this fan that means you your fan will stay on all the time and you can feel that when you park and you even not using the air condition you uh, you will uh, feel that the fan is staying on all the time which is gonna cause you a lot of money uh, because you're burning a lot of uh, diesel so uh, in, in that case it's good because it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna put you out of service or you're not gonna have a heating issue because your fan stays on all the time so if it don't turn on that's where the problem is because uh, sometime like I just show you that uh, uh, sometime uh, there's no play between that uh, 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 part and uh, the fan is not gonna be connecting to the engine when uh, there's no air when there's the air in the system th that's why I told you that turn on the key uh, build up some air pressure and that's when you can uh, uh, have the fan uh, connecting automatically and disconnecting uh, with a sensor and uh, depending on the temperature but if there's no air in the system then you, you cannot perform this test so if you have a, a heating issue with your truck your truck is heating up first of all you have to look at your antifreeze level if it's good then uh, you have to test your uh, fan clutch if your fan clutch is turning on and off uh, <clears throat> that that is the most likely the problem otherwise uh, you can engine can heat up for so many other reasons like uh, your water pump go bad that can create uh, the heating problem but it's totally like different you can tell exactly if your fan clutch is bad or if your uh, water heater is bad or if you have a low coolant level so I hope this helped you guys and it's very easy to test the fan clutch I hope uh, it helps somebody Thank you so much.